And if you would like, feel free to introduce your song or talk about it after you perform it, whatever. Tell us a little bit about how it came to be written or what you're trying to do musically or lyrically or anything along those lines. I typically leave that in the TV program because it's kind of interesting to songwriters to hear about, about the song or even why you chose to play it tonight. That's another thing that people typically talk about. I'm going to do a cover song, kind of a teaser of a cover song, then an actual cover, and then a, an original song that's based sort of on the cover song. And um, so I'll be talking a little bit about the intro here. And, and it's interesting because there's a little bit of connection here with the, the poem we just heard. The, because the song that I'm going to share, it was inspired by a lifetime of listening to a record album called Astral Weeks. Um, which either you know Astral Weeks and that's an obvious touch mark or you don't I mean there's <laughs> there's no real middle ground like, I sort of like Astral Weeks and uh, the Van Morrison song, uh, album from 1968 um, so the, uh, the original song Astral Weeks which is song one side one of the album goes goes kind of like this to give you a sense of the mood <clears throat> if I ventured in the slipstream Between the viaducts of your dream Where a mobile steel rims crack And the ditch in the back road stops Could you find Kiss my eyes, lay me down in silence, easy. To be born again, it just kind of goes into that very uh, dreamy, melodic, extended reverie. And the whole album is an extended reverie. Not to say it's all peaceful or pleasant or any of that. It's actually, it's almost like a 42-minute a hallucination uh, about his upbringing and his experiences in, in, in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Uh, all the weird characters, interesting streets, places that he grew up in. But as an album, it creates a mood which for me is not quite unique, but it's close. I mean, there's other albums we could speak about. There's uh, the, the feeling you get if, if you're still into listening to music, listening to an album, which isn't a contemporary thing anymore, but it used to be a thing. And so you would listen and become uh, absorbed by a work of art over 35 or 40 minutes. Uh, Moody Blues, Days of Future Past. Uh, Neil Young, arguably, uh, After the Gold Rush, Harvest. Um, you could name your favorites, I suppose, but it's more about the mood and the experience of immersing yourself in an extended piece of music. And so that's what that my original song, and I'm going to get to here in a minute, is about. It's about listening and, and uh, becoming immersed in, in a musical experience. And for me, it's very specific to listening to the album Astral Weeks, eight songs uh, sequentially, uh, uh, a particular mood that, um, inspired the song. But before I do that, I'm going to play a song from Astro Weeks, uh, Side Two, Cut Two, an odd song with its own kind of interesting, uh, groove isn't the word, but mood, called Madam George. <laughs> Up on Cypress Avenue With a childlike vision leaping into view Clicking, clacking of the high heel shoes. Ford and Fitzroy, Madame George. Marching with the soldier boy behind. He much older now with hat on, drinking wine. And that smell of sweet perfume comes. Drifting through 
Oh, the cool night air like Shalimar And outside they're making all the stops Kids out in the streets collecting bottle tops Gone for cigarettes and matches to the shops Oh, happy taking Adam George Oh, that's when you fall With your folded arms in history books you glance Into the eyes of Madame George And you think you found your bag You're feeling weaker and your knees begin to sag Playing dominoes in drag The one and only Adam George And outside the frosty window wraps Everybody jumps up and says Lord have mercy, I think that it's the cops And immediately we drop everything we got Straight down into the street below Now you know you gotta go, gotta go And catch that train from Dublin up to Sandy Road Throwing pennies at the bridges down below and snow Say goodbye Madam George Wonder why Madam George Dry your eyes Madam George Bye 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 Say goodbye. So that's Madam George. Side two, cut to Astro Weeks. So this is a song I wrote about the experience of listening to Astro Weeks. And maybe it could be applied to your experience of listening to your favorite Reverie album. And, and it's about the impact of his voice on me in that record as much as it is the unusual arrangements and the uniqueness of the entire production. The name of this song is called Haunted Honey. And I admit that I copped a lot of phrases and song titles from the album put together this little reverie. The voice perfumes the air like haunted honey. Tenor languid mist like Shalimar. The atmosphere now damp, no longer sunny. Time stands still, you're not sure where you are. You venture in the slipstream while beside you. The scent of Madame George obscures the pain. Well, on misty, moisty Cypress Avenue, 
clicking, clacking echoes in the rain. The haunted, honeyed voice narrates the tale. As the ballerina spreads her wings anew, a sweet thing calling from the ancient veil. The slim, slow slider rides now into view. Young lovers seek to dance the night away. charms along the track you'll never grow so old again you say your childhood innocence not coming back again like haunted honey comes the voice Could you find me? Would you kiss my eyes? To be born again is offered as a choice. Waiting just beyond the bridge of sighs. These astral weeks have neither start nor end. Haunted honey voice, eternal flame. A record serving as a lifelong friend. You listen and are not again the same. The voice perfumes the air like haunted honey. Tenor languid miss like Shalimar The atmosphere now damp, no longer sunny Time stands still, you're not sure where you are Time stands still, you're not sure where you are Thank you. Okay, so the first song I'm going to do is a is an oldie. I've I probably wrote it originally 20 years ago. It's called "Fake It Till You Make It." And, and the inspiration at, at that time was I happened to have two friends at, this, at the same time who were involved in 12-step programs, and they both used that phrase, fake it till you make it. I, apparently, that is part of the 12-step universe um, for, for rehabilitation. And, um, and I, I was a psych major, and I went to grad school in psych, and I did psych research, and I taught psych to undergraduates at a couple of different universities. And... We didn't use the term fake it till you make it in my day, <laughs> but um, there was a principle that uh, was discussed called attitude follows behavior. That if you behave in a certain way, eventually your, your, your feelings about that and your attitude is going to come in and be in concert, in alignment with your behavior. So that's why, presumably, if you behave like you're confident, you will be confident. If you behave like you're a sober person you'll be a sober person apparently anyway i wrote this song in the context though of this character that i occasionally bring out to in my songs who's a little bit cynical and a little bit sharp and a little bit maybe not exactly uh, honest with himself and um he's the guy who's going to sing this song fake it till you make it and it's a 12 bar blues Fake 
Fake it till you make it And you'll be fine Fake it till you make it Every time I said fake it till you make it You'll be fine as wine in the summertime Fake it till you make it And you'll get through Oh, fake it till you make it That will do Oh, fake it till you make it You'll be fine as wine in the summertime My friends say I got a problem With intimacy Oh, yes, my friends say I got a problem With intimacy now the problem with my friends is They don't know me So I fake it till I make it And I can pass Oh yeah, I'm gonna fake it till I make it I'm gonna have a blast I just fake it till I make it I'll be fine as wine in the summertime my amygdala's in overdrive Tells me fight or flee My amygdala's going crazy Tells me it's fight or flee Emotional intelligence Ain't doing much for me So I fake it till I make it I'll get through Oh yeah, I'll fake it till I make it And that will do Gonna fake it till I make it I'll be fine as wine in the summertime Ignorance and apathy They're everywhere I tell you, ignorance and apathy A nasty pain Ask me what I think, I'll tell you I don't know and I don't care I just fake it till I make it I'll be fine, I'll be fine, fine, fine I'll make take it till I make it <laughs> Every time Gonna fake it till I make it I'll be fine as wine in the summertime I saw the sunset yesterday, I saw it rise today. It was a sunny afternoon, I saw some kids at play. I felt something like gratitude, and it felt okay. So I'll fake it till I make it, and I'll be fine. I'll be fine, fine, fine I'll fake it till I make it Every time I'm gonna fake it till I make it I'll be fine as wine In the summertime Take it till you make it. It's been so cold. I haven't, uh, I haven't made a fire in our fireplace because there's something wrong with the chimney and, the, and it needs some repair. So I'm missing my fireplace. And here's a song called Fireplace Flames. Uh, written with my friend Paul Rayburn. Paul lives out in New York City. We don't get together all that much anymore. And don't really have any time for songwriting together. But starting in high school, Paul and I wrote songs together. And this was one that we wrote sometime during college.
fireplace flames disappear up the flue. And the red coals glow below. I sink in my chair, prop my feet, think of someone who floats on my mind like ice in my whiskey. And I don't know what comes now. It goes down sweet. I feel the heat. Is the season we think about absent friends, former lovers who moved on since way back when, when their brothers said, "Come to the game," their sisters kept my thoughts in confidence. There were long distance calls and a long run of silence, and I don't know what comes now. Once the die is cast, time goes by so fast. To tend the fire, here's what I do: not to control, to encourage, and to coax. Put something in the flame. Be there with what it needs when it needs. The flames dance in my mind like ice in my whiskey, and I don't know what comes now. It goes down sweet. I feel the heat. I guess it's, uh, I heard someone say something about Life is Too Short last time here, I think. I said, well, I got a song by that title, and I realized that song, I like it. I haven't played this thing here ever. Uh, pretty funky bass. I think, I don't know when I wrote this, 74 or 75. It sounds like a long time ago, but for me it's not. The song is called Life is Too Short. Yeah. 
change positions, life is too short. Only time for fast decisions, life is too short. Every year it just goes much faster, life is too short. A lifetime is a movie never shown. Life's too short. Life's too short. Too many chances pass, my life is too short. Too much time wasted on routine, life is too short. Too much wasted, fill up time, life is too short. One mistake is worth a million more. Life's too cannot be replaced. Memories and dreams can be erased. One bad slip can start things all wrong. You'll find you have no time to start. Oh, Life is too short. A waiting room for death to call. Life is too short. A lifetime's like a time measure. Life too, too short. Of calendars with all the years you own. Life's too short. Life's too short. Harder to play than I thought it was. 